Time Warner Cable's local edition on Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Jim Clark, member of the Culver City City Council. And Culver City is following the lead of many cities up and down our state, banning plastic bags. That's correct. Did it before Los Angeles. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me about it, though, because the issue continues to be controversial. Well, it does. Um, and it, as you may have seen recently, that the state legislature was not able to pass a bill. Surprising, and I would, thought. And a number of uh, Democrats even voted against it. They were arguing that about job loss uh, with respect to that they cited that there would be a lot of people who would be put out of jobs that mm -hmm. manufactured these plastic bags if in fact that right. happened. So why did Culver City choose to move forward? I mean, it's, it's a, you know, a, a well-heeled city. Mm -hmm. um, I got to think a lot of people love their plastic bags. They're used for a variety of reasons, not right. just uh, for your groceries. Yeah, it's a right. walkable city and people walk dogs and I'll just say that. And right. So we know. what made you decide to move forward? Well, on one of it is we have right running through the middle of our city, we have the Bayona Creek. Right, which and, is beautiful. And one of the aspects, and we've done cleanups there on the Bayona Creek, and um, you find a lot of plastic bags that end up getting blown off and into right. that. Um, into that. So um, it, it's partly um, for the it, uh, for that and partly because we view our city as, as wanting to be a green city and right. uh, sustainable and, and this seems to be the direction of where the country is going. So under Culver City law, what will happen? There will be no plastic bags and you can buy a paper bag? Right, that... right. And there's a, uh, so it, it phases in. It's six, six months for the large, uh, we've identified something like 92 retailers that would would I fall see. under this. So so not all all retail, not what about restaurant, pharmacy? Re restaurants aren't included with okay. respect to it. And certain types of bag, bags even within grocery stores right. like produce bags and those sure. kinds of things. But um, it would phase in for the large retailers uh, within six months, for the smaller retailers in 12 months. Uh, there would be a charge if you wanted a paper bag, it would be a 10 cent charge. Sure. Could, uh, at least a minimum of 10 right. cents. And that money goes to offset the cost to the retailer for not okay. only the cost of the bags, but also the education that would go along with it to let people know. On the other side of the environmental spectrum, you're dealing with oil. Yes, we do. Uh, Culver City does have some oil derricks. We uh, do. We can see them as we go up La Cienega. And so I want to get a sense because I understand that you're looking at a new ordinance dealing with oil. We are. It's been about eight years since we updated yeah. our oil drilling ordinance and really needed to be dealt with. But mm -hmm. of course now what's been added to this is this whole controversy around fracking. Of course. And there was also a bill at the state legislature, which again was not able to be passed, which would have created a moratorium mm -hmm. uh, on the fracking issue and w have other requirements what the identity of the chemicals that are used mm -hmm. in fracking whatever but we have needed to do that uh, we sit on the uh, Inglewood oil field the largest right. urban oil field in the United States mm -hmm. Culver City has about 10 percent of that so we're impacted uh, by it and uh, it's a public so health issue. So what's the new ordinance do? Uh, it just it tightens up some of the requirements for reporting the pro and uh, the permitting process for going through and uh, what the oil companies need to do are you and the monitoring of it as well too. Are you allowing fracking? Um, well, we <laughs> it'll go through an application process. I mean, we we're not disallowing fracking. Let's put it this Could way: Could Culver City ban fracking as a city? We could ban it, but I think we would be, you know, it, it's shaky ground. You could possibly do it under under zoning requirements. Right. But I think uh, we would probably face a, a lawsuit with respect. We would have preferred had the state dealt with the issue. So what and, now? And the state agency called Dogger right, yes. uh, is, in fact, developing regulations. Whether those regulations will go far enough with respect to the issue of fracking, we need to see. Dealing with a lot of environmental issues in Culver City. He is a member of its city council. He's Jim Clark. I'm Brad Pomerantz. This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.